Hey folks, Ray from DCRamerica.com here. Today I'm in the Garmin booth with Trainer Road. Um, in particular, Trainer Road with Garmin's new Vector 3 pedals that are down there. Um, but this will be applicable towards all of the Vector pedals that are out there. And what we've got is integration into the Trainer Road uh, app itself. So this is really the first time we're seeing integration beyond Garmin's head units or any sort of Garmin devices. Uh, in the past, it only worked uh, between Vector and Garmin's head units for their advanced cycling dynamics uh, support, which basically has other metrics like power phase, platform center offset, seated and standing time, uh, that is now able to be displayed on a trainer road. So to show you how that all works, I'm gonna jump on the bike here, um, or trip over the bike, one of the two. Okay, so now that we're on the bike, um, what we've got here is the workout on trainer road. Um, and we can go ahead, if we look at the devices, for example, uh, you'll see in the devices menu there that we have the power meter, that's the Garmin Vector power meter, uh, paired to trainer road itself using AMP+. Plus. Uh, we can go back to the workout here. And in the workout, you'll see the peak power phase that's displayed on the left-hand side. Uh, and then on the right-hand side, we've also got the balance. And then down on the right-hand side, on the bottom portion there, uh, right in the middle there, we've got the seated and standing time. And that'll match what's going on on your Garmin uh, display already. So you can see the two uh, essentially mirror each other between the Edge 1030 and the peak power phase. So if I were to go ahead and start standing up, um, what'll happen next is within about five seconds, you'll see the display will change. There we go, so now it shows standing, and it shows standing within Trainer Road as well, which is pretty darn cool. So you may be wondering why you care about things like seating and standing within Trainer Road, uh, and the argument there is that there are some workouts where you are focused on things like seat or standing, and so you'll see guidance along the bottom, like right now you can see it says to hop or to uh, work on the pedals, and so that's an area where you can actually see the feedback whether or not you're doing it correctly. Um, so you can look at the screen and say, yes, you are seated, or yes, you are standing, uh, whereas in the past, you just sort of had a hope that you were doing it correctly. And so this is an area where you may see beyond this, if you're focusing on different portions of the pedal, for example, or the pedal phase, that Train Road could validate that and give you credit if you are actually doing those different things correctly. With that, thanks for watching. Go and like that like button down below as well as the subscribe button. And also check out the full post on this in the description down below there. Uh, there's plenty more to come from Interbike. There's lots of new trainer news, some more power meter news, so you don't want to miss any of that out. Have a good one.